Doing any of the 11 things I'll talk about today will kill any chance of you ever getting a promotion at work. It's time you take an honest look at yourself and stop doing these things before it's too late. My name is Johan Peterson and I mostly talk about the things you should do to make you more successful. The things that will leave you first in line for a promotion and substantial races. Today though, we'll talk about the things that will kill any chance of you getting a promo or a substantial race. If you have a habit of doing any of these things, stop them today. It's important that you start building a new image for yourself one step at a time. Be consistent and patient since it takes time to change people's view of you. To fast track things, be transparent with your manager and colleagues. Tell them you are aware of your bad habit or habits, but that things will be different going forward. Having that conversation can change perception quicker. If you fall back into the bad habits after though, you may have hurt your perception forever. Knowing that, let's dive straight into the 11 things you need to stop doing at work. Complain. Don't be the one who complains about everything at work. This will make sure you never get a promotion. There will be a constant flow of changes at every company and you may not understand them all at first. Complaining about it gets you nowhere though. First of all, it's important to understand that if you're not in the C-suite, you don't have all the information and you don't have the full picture. So always let the change take place before you make up your mind about it. Then if you still feel it's a bad change or a bad decision, you have two options. The first one is to do nothing and just live with the change. Understand that it's a change for the company's best even if you don't agree with it. It's not your decision and we all have different points of view. Through your career there's going to be tons of decisions and changes that you don't agree with but you still have to live with. The second option would be to detail a better way of doing things and with data show how it is actually a better way of doing things. When you present to your manager don't be emotional, be confident, be humble and embrace any feedback. Self-awareness is key with this option. Negative attitude. Having a negative attitude goes hand in hand with complaining. If you're always negative or pessimistic, you're not going to see a promo anytime soon. And the higher you get in an organization, the more important emotional intelligence is going to be. And it will be a big part in determining promotions and how high you will climb in your career. To be a great leader and inspire others, you need an underlying belief that the future is bright. Even at times you don't agree with a decision or a change, you need to stay positive and champion the change. This will automatically increase your value to the company. A negative attitude on the other hand will do the opposite and could even trend you towards an exit. So be truly mindful how you respond to change and decisions going forward and actively control your attitude. Gossip or bad mouth? Gossip and badmouthing exists in every company and that's super unfortunate as it can completely kill company culture. You don't want to be any part of this. Never talk about anyone else unless they're present. Integrity is incredibly important if you want to grow within a company. Never badmouth a colleague and never gossip. Make a point of shutting down anyone who does this around you and you will be seen as a person of high integrity. Instead, you want to be direct with people. Give them feedback face to face and always be open to feedback yourself. Lie. Never lie to make yourself look better. You may get a short term win if you can call it that, but it will hurt you long term. This includes lying or exaggerating on social media like LinkedIn. In the world we live in today, that's incredibly easy to do, but it's also equally easy to find the truth. Always remember this, small lies will hurt you in big ways. Be emotional. I talk about this a lot and that's because it's incredibly important. Never ever be emotional at work. This includes being emotional with your colleagues, your boss, in meetings, in emails. If you're angry or feel emotional about an email, sleep on it before you reply and make sure you take out any emotional language before you send it. If someone annoys you in the meeting, keep calm, keep relaxed and then reply in a calm, confident and structured manner. Disregard email etiquette. The rule here is simple. Never send an email that you don't want your boss to read. This does not only mean something offensive, private or negative. It also includes sloppy emails. If one of those emails get in the wrong hands, it can be a big problem for you. Or even worse, a big problem for your company. Don't assume your emails are private because they aren't. Interrupt. Don't interrupt people in meetings or when talking in general. It's rude 
it's hurtful, and it won't make you look good in any way. Give a professional impression. Listen to understand. Be long-winded. You don't want to be known as the long-winded one. This goes for both verbal and written. When you talk to other people, make sure you let them into the conversation. It's not only annoying to others. You also never learn anything new if you're the one who always talks. When you write emails, you want to keep it short, to the point. If an email is more than a few short paragraphs, no one will ever read it all. Remember to get your message through keep it short and to the point. Read through your emails several times and remove anything that's non-essential. Get comfortable. As the months and years go by, it's easy to get increasingly comfortable. Don't. This goes for clothing. You never want to show up in sweats. It goes for language. It's never okay to use bad language. And as we talked about earlier, it also goes for attitude. Distract colleagues. Don't be the one roaming the office, interrupting people when they work. Respect others' time, effort, and focus. By being the one walking around the office, chit-chatting to everyone, you're not gonna be considered the nice one. You are gonna be considered the one who wastes time on a big scale. Public shaming. Never shame people in front of others, no matter who it is, or who you are. Any constructive feedback should be delivered in private and never ever ever yell at anyone either. If that's the only way you can get someone else of doing something, others will notice and you won't last long. If you didn't grow out of such preschool behavior at this point in your career, you need to take a long serious look in the mirror. Yelling does not make you a leader, it makes you look weak. If you're doing any of these 11 things, stop today. Look at yourself thoroughly and be honest with yourself. If you don't, it can really hurt your career. To get a promo, it's not enough to stop doing these things though. There's also a number of things that you need to start doing. I leave a link down in the description to a video about how to get first in line for a promotion. If you really want a promo, I suggest you watch that video next. And if you are serious about your career, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos that will keep adding value to your life and your career. I drop videos on career, leadership and personal growth every week. So I'll see you again next week. Thank you for watching and bye.